Umar Ahmed, IFL TV, MTK Global. I'm joined by Luke Campbell today. Obviously, you've announced that uh, you've teamed up with Shane McGuigan. Um, firstly, what do you see sort of in Shane for you to, because I'm sure loads of people were after you, but why, why Shane McGuigan? I've, um, I've seen, a, obviously, a lot of um, footage of Shane um, from the start um, over the last few years, and I've always liked the way Shane come across, seemed very professional, knew what he was talking about, just seemed to have had a great setup and always be always which is most important, successful in 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 his fires. So um yeah I, I came across Shane um straight away we clicked um and I really like what we're doing together. I like the little changes he's making in my style. Um and you know he's adding to uh, he's adding to what I've got, and I think it's a perfect fit. And for me, it's the first time I've actually gone into a to a to a team where every box is ticked. I ain't got to worry about nothing. I just got to turn up, and he's taking care of everything from strength to nutrition to everything. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, the boxing and everything's ticked. Yeah, uh, it's the first time where I've I finally had that in in my career. You know, I've been in America now for the last two and a half years, and you know, I had to I had to do everything myself. Um, but now I'm, I'm coming here. There's a team around me, and every box is ticked. And I feel that now it's I need to. I'm at that time in my career now, so fresh, young, um, full of of passion to achieve my goals, and now going up to the next level. I believe Shane will, will get me there. Okay, um, you touched upon America there. Obviously, he was out in Miami for what, two and a half years? Two and a half with years. With Forge Rubio. Did you live on good terms with Forge? Yeah, I mean, me and George are still fantastic friends. He still messages me daily, um, you know, and vice versa. We're, we're great. But, you know, I believe I served, served my time in, in America, two and a half years there, away from my family for seven months at least out of the year. Long time to be away from my family and my kids. And, you know, I believe it, I just got to that stage now where for me to go to the next level is, uh, you know, I believe Shane will get me there. Okay. Um, obviously, last time he was out, sort of in a tick over fight on the uh, Bellew Hay 2 rematch. Do you sort of need one more tick over before you get into the likes of the, the Mendy rematch, maybe a qualify, or are you happy to both strengthen and fight? I'm ready to go. Yeah. I am ready to go. This is something I've been wanting for a long time and um, I'm ready to go. Obviously, you are always linked with the Ivan uh, Mendy rematch. Um, have you spoken to Eddie? Is that the fight that's, that's potentially next? Listen, it's, um, you'd have to ask Eddie that, really. Um, I think you might catch him on a yacht somewhere. <laughs> yeah, you've seen that video last night. <laughs> <laughs> but his, um, Firstly, what was you thinking when you thought that, your promoter? Yeah, do you know what? He's, it, I thought it was funny. <laughs> Um, you know, and he's um, he's having a good time. It's you know, it's good. It's uh, you, you know, there's times to be professional, and there's times to actually you're just relaxing. You're just a normal, you're a normal fella enjoying your time with your family away. You know, you he works very hard. You know, so why not? Fair enough. Do you think you'll get some stick I for it? I think he needs to. Yeah, but that's only because of his dance moves. That's not because of what he's actually doing. I think that's just because his his moves need to. Uh, to get a little bit better. Probably deserves it after that card. I don't know if you saw much of White Parker. And yeah, no, Chicago I watched Tech the card at home yeah. myself. Um, like you say, he's, he's a busy man. He works very hard. He's, you know, putting great shows on like that. And then the next day, he, he's in America producing a show over there. Then he's back over here. The show over here, he's, he's a very busy guy. And, you know, he works hard. Obviously, he's got that deal with the zone, um, trying to conquer the states. Would that even man, uh, Mendy rematch possibly there? Or would you want it in Hull? Um, you know, it's again, it's it's a fight we want. Um, we're not particularly bothered where the fight is. We just want that fight, mm -hmm. and um, you know, time time for me to um, scrub him off my record and make make a wrong or right. And I'm I'm very confident in that. And I, after being with Shane for these last this last couple of months. Um, you know, I'm I'm feeling great. 
and I can't wait to get in there. Uh, I feel like since the the last fight with um, in set, last September with Linares, um there is there isn't been any momentum in in anything, um, and, and like you say, with me being away all the time as well in America, I'm you know I'm out I'm out the eye of people, I'm out the press because I'm working away, uh, and now when we get this next fight announced and going, then I want to be busy on out, I want to keep that momentum going and. I believe now with Shane in my corner and in my team, so I think uh, not only will I want to win world titles, but I want to dominate the division. Mm. Obviously, in this gym, we've got a winning mentality, like to George Groves, Josh Taylor. How much of a benefit and sort of factor was that in you joining Shane? Yeah, I mean, obviously, every every man works for himself. Um, you know, you've got your own path, your own goals, but it's great to work alongside George. Um, brings back a lot of memories. So that picture on Twitter, you yeah. Amir and George. It that, brings yeah. back me and George used to share a room together as mm. amateurs, um, and it brings back a lot of memories. And you know, working alongside each other, pushing each other, and circuits and and stuff, and, and watching him work and train. It's you know, laying off each other. And I, again, with Josh Taylor as well. You know, I, I served a long time in the England camps with Josh Taylor. So I had hundreds of rounds with him, and he's a He's a very class fighter himself, and you know it's it's great to be in that mix mm. with people that are working alongside him, pushing each other, and and it's exciting times. Yeah, um, we saw Mikey Garcia um, beat Robert East, East Junior. The other night. Did you watch the fight? Yeah, I, I haven't watched it all, but I've watched highlights of the fight. Mm -hmm. Am I right in saying you're number two with the WBC? I'm number two in the WBC. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously. I know you have, it's not probably on your mind right now, but a fight with Mikey Garcia down the line is, is another possibility for you. Yeah, m most definitely it's a massive fight. Mm. I mean, you know, everybody's saying Mikey Garcia is number one pound for pound. Um, but this is why me, I want to fight the best. But I need to prove myself. Mm. And that's it. The only way I can prove myself is fighting the best and beating the best. Um, he's been calling out Errol Spence. Do you think that's sort of a too much of a step up in terms of weight and size? Um, no, I mean, he, he seemed to have stepped up to 145. Fox Adrian Broner and Andal Broner was a bigger, bigger fella, you know, who's boxed, who's boxed at welterweight himself for most of his fights against big, strong guys too, and didn't seem to bother him. Um, so it'll be an interesting, be interesting one, but he seems very confident that he can mm. go up to 147 and, uh, and perform. and. And you know, it's refreshing to see that he wants to not only move up to weights, but he wants to fight the best in the division too. Would you be happy moving up? Is that something you consider? If the right fight came? Yeah, most definitely. But for me, I've 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 got things I need to achieve at lightweight before I go anywhere. You know, I want to I want to achieve I want to achieve a world title at lightweight, and then and then move on. But there's goals and there's things I need to achieve first at lightweight before I go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you talked about the Linares fight. It was a great fight for the fans to watch here. How, how many times have you watched that fight back? Um, I've seen it back once. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Maybe twice. Yeah. I watched it once with the Sky commentators and once with the HBO commentators, <laughs> just to see what they were saying. Yeah. Um, believe it or not, the HBO commentators was giving me better feedback than oh, yeah. our, our run. Okay. Um, interesting. But it was interesting. It was interesting to see. Yeah. Um, yeah, I watched it back. You know, I came up, sh I came up short. Um, I went to his back garden, fought a three-weight world champion in just 19 fights. And to be honest with you, I thought I nicked the fight. I thought I won seven rounds out of five. Um, you know, and the and what what did it for them was was the knockdown. That's what they're saying. So um, without the knockdown, then I wouldn't I would have won the fight. But this in it was a close fight. I went to the champion's back garden. Uh, and fought the best, and I, I just come up short. Um, but I'm back now. I'm more determined than ever, um, and I believe not only I want the rematch for Linares too. Mm. I want to I want to right that wrong as well, because um, I believe I can beat him, and beat him a lot more comfortable the next time we fight, if not get a stoppage win. Okay. So what would you sort of do different in that fight? Um, probably 
Shane will uh, <laughs> Shane will tell me what, what, what to enough. do differently, but maybe be a little bit more aggressive, put my shots together a little bit more, because he was very wary of of uh, the power as well. So he was wary, and obviously um, it made it into a little bit of a standoff, tricky fight. But mm. um, it was a great fight. I learned a lot in that fight. Um, but next time I go in there and I be comfortable. Fair enough. Um, how confident are you then? Um, you and Shane, that you'll be winning a, a world title within the next 12 months or so? I'm very confident, very confident that we can go out there in the next 12 months and certainly win, win a world title uh, and, defend, and defend it uh, against good champions. You must be sort of happy to be back in the UK doing stuff like this. this you've been out the limelight a bit, haven't you? This is, this is what I mean. It's, for me, now I'm back in the UK, I can finally get some promotion behind me because I've been missing out a lot by being over in the in the States, you know. I've been missing out a lot, so now I want to come back and I'm back with the band. Okay, Luke Campbell, appreciate you talking to IFL. Is there anything you'd like to add? Um, keep tuned because um, we're going to bring you a lot of excitement and some great fights ahead. Okay, top man Luke, appreciate your Thank time. You. Thank you very much.